Hi, these comments are for SM. I am Michael from uh, OTC, OnlineeTOEFLCourse.com. <coughs> You're one of my TOEFL speaking boot camp course students. Hua. And I'm listening to an independent speaking practice test that you sent me, <coughs> excuse me, yesterday. All right, so I have the speaking rubrics on the right. I have your speaking practice tests on the left. Let's listen to it. Consider job market choosing their major because there are some jobs that apply while others shrink. To illustrate this fact, when I was 18, I chose pharmacy as it was a promising field. Therefore, I could easily get a job immediately within two month, uh, months of my graduation. On the other hand, pharmacy wouldn't be a good choice nowadays for my sister who is coming out of high school because there are no more job openings for pharmacy graduates in my country. Therefore, she might consider studying any technical major such as computer science or programming as these jobs are booming right now. Good vocabulary, booming. It's a very simple word, but not all non-native speakers will know the meaning of that. There's another word, burgeoning. You could say they're burgeoning right now. <coughs> but booming is definitely a good word for what you're trying to explain. So I I'm going to put you at least at 3.0, 23 points. <coughs> Excuse me, let's listen to your response one more time. Students should consider job market when choosing their major because there are some... Okay, so what, I think the question here is what is the most important factor when choosing a major, right? ...jobs that apply while others shrink. Students should consider job market when choosing... So students should consider the job market. They should, I, I would probably say the job market there with the... ...their major because there are some jobs that apply while others shrink. To illustrate this fact... Okay, there are some jobs that what? Let me listen to that again. ...jobs that apply while others shrink. To illustrate this fact... ...because there are some jobs that apply while others shrink. No, I would say there are... How do you say this? You could say some jobs are in more demand than other jobs at specific periods of time. You might say something like that. So some jobs are more in demand than others. That's a more natural way to say that idea. Illustrate this fact. When I was 18, I told... I would just say to illustrate or to illustrate how some jobs are more popular than others and then explain your example. ...pharmacy as it was a promising field. Therefore, I could easily get a job immediately within two month, uh, months of my graduation. On the other hand... Okay, let me check your language use here. ...within two month, uh, month field. Therefore, I could easily get a job immediately within two month, uh, months of my graduation. On the other hand, pharmacy wouldn't be a good choice nowadays for my sister who is coming out of high school because there are no more job openings for pharmacy graduates in my country. Therefore, she might consider studying any technical major such as computer science or programming as these jobs are booming right now. How about this? You might say computer programming um, or computer science, say both of which are all of which are in demand right right now. <coughs> okay, so yeah, I think that there is maybe just some slight language use issues in there. There might be, for example, some jobs are more in demand than others at specific periods of time. I think you could have probably explained that a little bit better than what you did. You have some minor delivery issues. So one area you can work on is your intonation. I think that's definitely an area that you can improve on with your delivery. All right, so I'm gonna put your score here at about maybe 23 to 25 points out of 30 on this practice test.